With no medieval events on locally this year, I decided to take the time and make a new medieval style trestle table. That's this one right here. This is a fantastic piece of furniture to do. It's very easy. It's an easy sort of weekend, even a couple of hours kind of worth of a project. You could do it over a couple of days. It's super, super easy. Let's take a look. So basically what's happening guys is there's no medieval events on locally this year. Bit of a shame. So I'm going to utilize the time to remake a whole bunch of furniture and expand what I'm doing. Today we're doing a medieval style trestle table. This is designed to be able to seat six adults, at least eight kids, if not more maybe. Uh, I'm going to be making a whole bunch of these. Uh, so. And that's going to be going in the medieval village that we're hoping to start construction on in 2021. Super exciting, lots going on. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so today we're going to make a medieval table. This kind of table would have been fairly common. There simply isn't enough finds to be able to say that any particular table kind of construction was more common in this period than another. Uh, we, we really just don't know very much information about how these tables were constructed. When we look at medieval furniture, there's, to my knowledge, almost nothing that survives other than a few basic grave finds from Scandinavia in terms of actual furniture, and that's due to the, um, the nature of the soils, which are slightly more, I guess, um, sympathetic perhaps is, is a word I don't know but um, it's, it's certainly things seem to survive in the soil there better than they do elsewhere uh, I think that's to do with the uh, pH levels and uh, the funguses and bacteria which are within the soils alrighty so what do we know really about medieval furniture well I guess um, the answer is, is not a whole lot other than what we see depicted in medieval artwork, otherwise known as iconography. There's a little bit, but there's not really a whole lot. What we do know is that medieval people were kings and queens, basically, of flat pack furniture. And the furniture was all designed to be fairly easy to be able to take apart and take with them to, to wherever they were going. Uh, for example, if they were going to go on campaign for a long time, then they might take a lot of their furniture with them. Furniture was quite valuable. And to leave it in the trust of somebody else perhaps would be um, a little bit dodgy. You don't have any control over that. So uh, I, I, I guess that's, um, that's an option. Rightio, so we're going to look at a medieval table. Right. Um, the... The basic plans that we're going to use, I'm not drawing this to scale and it's not very well in perspective, but that's okay. Um, Radio. so we have a table here. I'm making mine 180 centimeters, roughly speaking, six foot long. And right, we're looking at about 120 centimeters wide. Radio. now this is going to be a trestle style table. What we do know from iconography is there's several different ways these trestles could be manufactured. This particular table is going to have three of them. What do I mean by a trestle? Well, a trestle would have looked something like this. Ah, now, you would then have... Um, 
a section cut out on either side on either end so that would look something like this as I say not being drawn to scale now I'm doing my particular table this, this way I understand there's several different ways you can do it but that's what we're looking at radio on one side so I'm using the three-legged style of trestle in this particular instance and what that meant was the various bits of wood would basically just slot in together um, so there's one leg and then on this side there'll be essentially two legs which will be joined pretty much like so and that looks something like this all right Now, when it comes to, to measurements, okay, now I've talked about the table top, that'll be 180 centimeters by, um, actually gonna be 80 centimeters, sorry. Uh, I'm just working with the timber that I have. To achieve that, I'm gonna use some dowel joints across the top. And then I've got times three of these trestles. Alrighty, now uh, let's talk materials. The two obvious options that the, you have are going to be oak. For a table like this in Australia, oak is not a native species. You have to use um, harvested oak from, a, um, from another part of Australia called Tasmania. Uh, so between shipping costs and production costs, uh, it is just phenomenally expensive. Uh, I have used oak in a number of chests and so on, but um, I just don't have the resources to be able to produce um, tables like this. And I actually want to produce a lot of these specific tables. So I'm going to use pine, basic radiata pine, and I'm then going to stain and varnish that with an oil-based stain. You do want to use oil-based because it's going to be more resistant to um, the weather, it's going to be more resistant to um, any sort of cleaning and that kind of thing you might need to do. Uh, Alright, in terms of colours, well, we know medieval people uh, just would have basically had the timber as it was for most, most people, uh, that being the lower classes. The upper classes may have been able to use some various stains or perhaps pigments, but um, that really wasn't a big thing for their furniture. Alrighty, that's going to be our plans. Let's uh, let's take a look at getting this produced. In order to get the fastest and most expedient and the most efficient result, I'm going to use dowel pegs. I realise uh, I'm going to be using modern power tools in this, and I understand that there's lots of people that'll get a bit excited about that. That's okay. I don't mind. I'm sure if power tools were available back in the day, then people in early medieval periods would have used power tools. I'm also disabled, so I have to work with what I've got. Radio, let's go. Just make sure everything's square. I'm coming in 15 centimeters. I work in centimeters. I was brought up that way. I realize that's not the way for everybody. That's okay. For those of you who know imperial measurements, feel free to shout it out. Please leave a comment below. So 15 centimeters is roughly speaking six inches. And then using approximately 12 inches or 30 centimeters up from there. I want a table 
that is more utilitarian in function. I'm going to do... Oops. I'm going to be doing a... Um, dining table separately in about, uh, should be a couple of weeks time so lots and lots and lots of videos to come but, and I know lots of you guys do follow my videos on medieval furniture so I would look forward to seeing you guys back we'll also be doing an Osborg 178 chest shortly uh, Let's see, there's quite a few pieces of furniture up and coming. I think one at least every couple of days. So, anyway, I'm using 6mm dowel pieces at this point. Alrighty, I don't think all of those pilot holes came out quite the way that I wanted them to, but that's okay. Alright, now what I'm going to do is just cover this down with, with white glue. In, uh, back in the medieval period they may have used something like uh, cheese glue. There's also a possibility that they used things like um, just linseed oil with wooden pegs. What that would do is the linseed oil causes the wood to expand and therefore everything stays in place nice and tight. Alright, so let's see how we go. Not looking too bad, clamps everywhere I know, but still, um, I'm going to leave that to dry for 24 hours and then I'll Start tidying up the top of it and give it a good coat of varnish. Right here, you can see the tops of the trestles now. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut where I've marked out. I'm going to use a circular saw and the saw depth is going to be two centimeters. The whole concept here is that um, uh, we can cut in, I suppose you'd call it a dado. I'm not sure if that's the technical term or not, but uh, that's where the um, the legs are going to slot into. Any kind of woodworking project like this you really do need the correct PPE on that is personal protective equipment. That is glasses, a mask, and ear defenders. That's about finished, I just need to check levels and a few bits and pieces, otherwise that's good to go. And then we just got to put it together. Rightio, there we've got our three trestles all nice and done, everything looks pretty smick. Now we're just going to do a little bit of sanding, get it all tidied up.
Alrighty guys, all finished, all done. This has come out really well and I'm really happy with it. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of these we're going to make. It's really exciting. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just quite thrilled at the moment. Alrighty, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.